Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I just did your week ahead reading for March 22nd through the 28th and the first card out was Fortunate Accident or Serendipity and uh, I didn't realize that I wasn't supposed to use these cards until the April reading which I'm about to do now. I had forgotten so it really was a fortunate accident that you got to have these two extra cards the other two signs that I did did not so it was an accident so I do believe that you will be having some sort of accident okay and I don't know what kind of accident that is but serendipity is a fortunate accident it's for the best whatever this is it's good luck it leads you down the path you know to success so, you know, there is going to be something that happens that probably isn't what you suspect. Expect the unexpected, okay? These two decks were supposed to be used in the April reading, but you got to have them for the end of March. So something could happen at the end of March. Um, there's a reason why that happened, okay? That you, it was an accident. So... Um, if, if you were to see the Taurus and the Aquarius readings, they didn't get these for the end of March. They got them for their April readings, but not the end of March. It was an accident that you got them. So, the, I do believe that you are going to be having a fortunate accident. Definitely in at the end of March or in April. Okay? Um, so, you know, be prepared for that. You're going to get these cards again. I'm going to see what comes out. Um... That obviously was meant to happen for a reason. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April. So what do we have for Cancer for the month of April? It was an accident for the end of March. And it's interesting because that's breathe. Breathe, something about breathing. And it's interesting because in this deck, if you watch the end of March reading, there was, I said something about life support. So I'm uh, in 29, 29 degrees, that's the end of something. It's like the karmic degree. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but it has something, to, something might happen that might take your breath away. This came out reverse. We're going to read it in the upright position. But 29 is is a very karmic situation. I think that there's the I think that we have the end of a karmic situation here is what I'm trying to say. Um so and it comes it starts with some sort of accident. Um accidents typically change people's lives. Sometimes that's what needs to happen. Um Breathe. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body. Your being in your very essence. Stop to smell the roses. Breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. Don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. I think that you need to heal. Release constriction and anxiety, for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment, and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. You have worked long and hard. Your dreams are coming to fruition, and you want to hurry things along. You are the slow one moving Languid, languidly, yet still progressing right now, in a rhythm dictated by your authentic nature, the essence of your dream and the will of the universe, slow and steady, wins the race. You will indeed win if you relax, 
stay the course, trust your intuition, and breathe. You're going to have to go slow this month. There's obviously something that is happening that is going to change your life profoundly. Time. Be patient. Go slow. What do we have for cancer? The sun. Heal. You are going to need to heal from something. The sun is the, the most healing energy to me. It's the he most healing card. This is a card of joy, happiness, being accepted, great health, healing, life-giving energy. This is a new beginning. It's a breakthrough. It's a new day. So I feel as though you are, it's almost like you're giving birth to a new life. Take time to breathe, like I said, and smell the roses. This is, this is a card of enlightenment as well. Awakening, spiritually awakened. Transformation with the butterfly. You are going through a period of transformation. Just be happy in the moment. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your bliss. There's nothing to worry about. Just breathe. Some of you may be moving to a warm place. Take your time. Enjoy it. priestess spirituality going within reflecting and so I think that you are you're gonna need to take time to reflect some of you could be dealing with somebody that is a healer these are both healer cards this is definitely a time of healing healing yourself becoming more spiritually enlightened you may be connecting with the divine. You may be growing spiritually through meditation, through tarot, through some, some sort of spiritual gift that you have within inside you is probably growing. Page of Cups. Very, very intuitive. Sharp, intelligent. See, Knight of Coins reversed. I do believe that you are going to be communicating with somebody. There could even be telepathic communication, okay? There is some sort of communication here. Very, very spiritual energy. Um, vibrating at a very, very, very high level. Um, it's, there's definitely spiritual growth here. You're going through a period of spiritual growth. So there's no hurry. You may, you may be feeling tired. You may need to be alone. You may feel like you don't have a lot of energy. That's fine. Just, just allow yourself to heal. You're going through some sort of transition this month. I also believe that you are probably receiving a lot of love and support from somebody. You have somebody here that really, really, really cares about you. You could be developing a connection with somebody. Um, a strong connection, a strong spiritual connection with somebody. This, whoever this person is, this person is likely to be right around the same age as you. I don't think there's a big age difference. I think this is somebody that is right on your level as far as age goes. Okay, I feel like this person and you are right around, right around the same age. Um, I think that you're going to need to really take baby steps or, or just stay put just w one minute at a time. There's no hurry. Focus on yourself. Focus on your healing. Focus on your heart. Okay. I think we read about heart. Okay. Focus on yourself. Focus on self-love. Okay. I think that you're healing your heart. You're healing your heart from something. Um, maybe you were deceived, maybe you were cheated on, maybe you were betrayed, you know, it feels like uh, 
somebody did not follow through with their plans, you know, that there's some sort of healing that is going on. Um, I do believe that you are beginning something new, a new chapter, a new life. I think this is going to bring you a lot of happiness, extreme happiness. But I also feel like you need to um, be by yourself, okay? I, I think that there's somebody that maybe you may be, de be developing a spiritual connection with, but I think that you need to be by yourself. And I know that's hard because, you know, you have a lot of love to offer and you may have a lot of feelings. I think that you do. I think that you may be in your feelings and you want to express your feelings. But I think that it may be wise for you to keep to yourself while you are healing through whatever this situation is. Um, I feel like you were, I mean, that Knight of Pentacles reversed is... irresponsible there's some sort of irresponsible jealous unfaithful situation here somebody's jealous they're there or they were jealous they were stubborn um, they didn't act with integrity this is this is uh, I don't know if it's an ex you may be dealing with an ex that was greedy very selfish maybe that's who you're healing from if it's not an ex we have somebody here that, there's, there could be some laziness. You know, there's not healthy with the Knight of Coins reversed. Unstable. Emotionally unstable. Somebody here is emotion. This is emotionally unstable. That is emotionally unstable as well. Somebody here needs to be stable. They need to, they need to really focus on themselves this month. I think that you may have the desire you know, to communicate and develop a connection. But my advice is to focus on your healing, focus on yourself. And I know that's hard. I feel like you've got a couple of, of people around you. Um, somebody really, really wants to take care of you. Or they want, or they're, or you may be looking for a relationship. It could go either way, but there's a need. I mean, we have a we have somebody here that is very spiritual, that is looking for a relationship. Somebody is looking for a relationship, but that Knight of Cups, or somebody is going to be initiating. They're going to be making an offer to somebody that is very spiritual. They want a new beginning. Somebody's going to be receiving an offer, and it is very, it's an emotionally fulfilling offer. I'm telling you what, this offer could make you extremely happy. It is. You're going to need to listen to your gut. Follow your heart. This is a card of heart. This is a card of heart. This is a card of heart. And I believe, I can't remember what I read, all of it, but I think that one talked about your heart as well. Something about your heart. Following your heart. Maybe you, maybe the whole reason this accident has happened, whatever the accident is, I know there's some sort of accident, is because somebody hasn't been following their heart. Love is what matters more than anything. It matters more than money. It matters more than stability. It matters more than anything. So I do believe there's going to be communication between you and another person. And I think this I think that this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning and it could lead to a lot of happiness. I feel like this month you are being called to keep working on yourself. Really 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 work on your healing. Um work on your healing your heart, work on self-love. It's kind of like the heart chakra, okay? Don't don't um, settle for less than you deserve. You're you're going through a period of healing right now. Be patient. Be patient and wait. Wait for the wait for wait for the one that is going to bring you wish fulfillment. Something is happening where you are going to be receiving a lot of love. 
I feel like your intuition is going to be off the charts as well. You are going to be, you're going to be sent, people are going to be feeling you. You're going to be communicating with people. You're going to be seeing signs. You know, this is going, this is highly, highly intuitive. Seriously, you are going to be vibrating at the highest level. Okay. This is, this is a, the gateway to intuition. It is also a flood of emotion. It is a new start in love. Okay, if things have, if you, this is, this is a healing love as well. You're going to be getting an offer of love or you're going to be falling in love or you're going to be loving yourself more than you ever have. Maybe this could even be an, be an understanding of what love really is. This is a new beginning in love that is going to make you extremely happy. It's beautiful. Pay attention to your dreams as well. It's interesting that I mentioned heaven because the Ace of Cups can mention heaven. This is a heavenly love. It's God sent. You're going to be radiating love. You're going to be glowing. Your health is going to improve. So whatever this accident is, is going to bring you better health. It's going to bring you love. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. And it's going to put you in a state of high awareness. high Higher than you even are right now. So anyway, Cancer, I feel like you are going to be really radiating. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Do not go too fast. Go slow. You know what speeding does? And maybe this is what happened. I don't know. Speeding causes accidents. Go slow. Be patient. Whatever this is, it is extremely beautiful. You may have a new love. Some of you may have a new love here. This is somebody that is, is very spiritual. This is a spiritual person. This person may be a tarot reader. They may be a psychic. They may be a medium. That could be you. We have somebody. I think both people are spiritual. Yes, I do. I think that I think that you are and you're going to be re, you're going to be connecting with somebody that is on the same level as you. This really is a dream come true. And I don't say that very often. This is really good news that is coming. You may be love struck. Follow your heart and trust your gut. But don't run. Walk. Good luck.